Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sav if you're new. Today we are continuing our legacy challenge. We're gonna be starting off in cast because I wanna show you guys the adult makeover that I gave Edison. I do have this habit of keeping all of my Sims looking like they're teens and young adults up until they're elders. <laughs> so I'm really trying to break that habit. So every time one of our Sims ages up, we are going to be giving them a fresh makeover. I hope you guys are well though. I hope you're having a lovely week. I'm doing good, I'm doing all right. A lot of you guys have been asking when I'm gonna re return to streaming and I will next week. I still am trying to figure out like the schedule that I wanna do. Yeah, we only have three more generations left in this challenge. So it's gonna be coming to an end soon, which honestly makes me so freaking sad. I'm gonna miss it so much, but I'm also excited to um, like do a new challenge with you guys. I do wanna finish Not So Berry. I know a lot of you guys miss that as well. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just excited for the future. I hope you guys are too. Let's get into this episode, shall we? I love you. Thank you for being here. Let's go. All right, so here we are in cast. Here is Edison with his new makeover. I grew out his hair a little bit. I took off his blush. I gave him like some, are these smile lines? I gave him some smile lines. He definitely does look a little bit older, but he is an adult now. So I wanted to reflect that. Here are his outfits. I didn't change a lot. Um, I just kind of tweaked a couple of things to make him look more adult. Oops, that's loud, hold on. To make him look more adult and a little bit more mature. Um, so yeah, that's what we got going on. And then, yeah, in the last episode, we did, did give Sarah a little bit of a update as well. Changed her hair, gave her a few new outfits. And Ren, I would really love to give Ren a makeover. Um, maybe I can make that like a whole separate video. <laughs> it always takes me forever when I play with Ren and Cass because I just love her so much that I'm always just like trying every single piece of clothing on her, you know? She's just a really, really fun sim to have, like to play with in Cass. If you guys haven't downloaded her for your game yet, she is on the gallery. You guys should totally, I would love to see your guys' like renditions of Ren. Renditions, ah? Uh? <laughs> I also uploaded the uh, renovated lounge that I did in the last video. If you guys haven't watched that yet, um, the lounge that came in the new world with Lovestruck, I renovated that using base game and Lovestruck. So if you guys want to like replace it, in your game, you should be able to if you have the pack, of course. I also uploaded the perfect family home that I built before I moved. <clears throat> A couple of you guys were asking for that too. So both of those things are up on the gallery now. Yeah, I like uploaded Legacy and then I sat down to film and I was like, it's been like 30 seconds since I've uploaded Legacy. I need some time to like read the comments. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? Let's do a build. So I started looking around the new world at all the lots and stuff. And I was like, dang, should I build like a restaurant? Should I renovate one of the houses? And then I saw the lounge and I was like, oh honey, this is screaming for a makeover. <laughs> it was really fun though, I enjoyed it. Okay, so let's have a look at the calendar here. Um, oh, here we are back in the compost household, as always. There isn't really anything coming up. Like it's kind of, just, we just have like free reign for like a week until Christmas. Um, I really, really wanna work. Oh, Sarah is at work right now. Yeah, so we got Sarah, her job. She's a romance consultant at the moment. Um, she's level two, so she's working on that. Ren, with her job, she is level six, so we should be maxing that real soon. We also maxed gemology for her in the last one and entrepreneur, that's what it's called, right? Yes, and the archaeology skill. Um, we're gonna do romance skill for her next because I'm looking through this list and I just like, I don't know what skill she needs now. I think we've done them all. Let me see, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Forty. And how many skills? are in the sims with all packs. One, two, three, four, five. 52. Wow, okay, so romance, nectar making, horseback riding, we have not done for her, snowboarding, skiing, 
rock climbing, fabrication probably, I don't think we've done. Selva Duradian culture, veterinarian. All right, good to know. <laughs> and then Senor Edison. Yeah, he smacks a good amount of skills to be honest. Comedy and handiness are up next. And then um, his aspiration, he just wants to be married to his best friend. We did get into in a relationship in the last one with um, Eloise, which is good. Um, it looks like she hasn't married yet. I, I think that there's a way that we can mark her to like not get married through MC Command Center, which I think would be nice. It, like, it doesn't make sense that a Sim would go off and get married if they're in a relationship, you know? So, flags affecting marriage and relationships. Um, flag never marry. A Sim with this flag will never get married through the automated schedule MC marriage process. Okay. Yes, so uh, she won't go off and get married, which is good. Um, uh, Ana Anahi and Tanya. Oh, someone had twins. All right, so I think that the next um, skill that we should do for Ren is nectar making. I think that would be pretty fun. We can make a lot of money from that. That is from the horse ranch pack. So yeah, I think I'll put it in here somewhere. Maybe we can get rid of that because no one uses it. And we'll put the nectar making thingy right here. This tree over. Yeah. Sorry if you guys can hear the vacuum. Um, <laughs> my grandma is here right now and you guys know how she is. Always busting the dust, especially when I'm filming. Did she max her flower arranging skill? No, she didn't. Okay, we can do that one too. Yeah, let me get Edison to start a club gathering. As Oh, there already is a club gathering going. Okay, great. Perfecto! <sighs> Let me have a look at Sarah's work schedule. She has Saturdays and Sundays off. So I guess on Saturday and Sunday, we can like go to Tomerang and uh, work on that aspiration a little bit. I'm gonna have her work on her horse riding skill right now. See if uh, Dolly wants to go for a ride. Honestly, it's really, really hard to get your horse riding skill up because the horse needs to be in a good mood, your sim needs to be in a good mood, and I'm, I'm not gonna lie, it goes up really, really slow. Oh yeah, I forgot, I also, <clears throat> I also gave Evangeline a little update to her hair. I gave her the new hair. I thought it would be perfect for her. It looks absolutely gorgeous. All right, I'm finally gonna ask Sarah to join this club so that she gets uh, benefits for the, uh, whatchamacallit, the skills, um, invite to household. Yes, yes, yes. Because that club is so, it's so overpowered right now. Uh, we have skill boost for literally everything. Did a new skill boost come with the, the new pack, I wonder? It did, romance boost. Yes, give it to me, thank you. You better join, girl. Oh yeah, she's stoked. Are you kidding? I'd love to join household. Congra uh, congratulations. <laughs> um, my, whatchamacallit, uh, my uh, reshade is acting a little bit weird right now. Do reshades need to be updated? I am so new with using, um, new to using reshades that I don't really know. I don't know. Do those need to be updated just like mods do? Go for an energetic ride, yes. Keep on going. And you'll keep on crafting. Strawberry nectar. Sweet like strawberry wine. <laughs> I don't know that song. I just know that part. Just that one single verse. All right, and what, uh, what, what collection do we want to focus on? This gardening one is seriously pissing me off. We need one more and it's like the hardest thing to get. Um, postcards, yes, that, that one's just with the pen pal. Microscope prints, space prints, aliens, space rocks. We need a couple more fish. Fish are found shockingly by fishing. Oh my God, yeah, that's crazy. Void critters, uh, we can focus on that once we have another kid. City posters, snow globes. Magic beans. I think we get those from rare seed packet. Positivity challenge aspiration. Seashells. It's like all of these collections we need to like go on vacations for. The Cupid's Corner little notification thing is the new thrifty notification. Do you guys remember how often I would get 
that notification to come check out Thrifty. Now it's freaking Cupid's Corner. I swear. Why do you have an angry mood lit? Feeling angry from being from hot headed Trey and she's thirsty. Sorry, honey. All right, Sarah is now level six horse riding. We're getting there. We're getting there. And Ren is level three nectar making. She's doing the thing. Uh, yes. Oh yeah, this is the ranch hand that Sarah kind of hit it off with in the last episode. Not gonna lie. Um, they got along pretty well. Hi, Stella. How are you? Joke about funny family memory. Yeah, 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 do that, do that. Kieran's here too. Oh my God, talk about family reunion. Please don't flirt with him again. I swear, Edison, don't even think about it, bro. Just don't. Ren and Kieran are jokesters. Yeah, I'll take that. Uh, we need to use the squat toilet three times for Sarah's uh, aspiration. So I might replace this toilet upstairs with a squat toilet. Just so we can get that done. Also, I was thinking about uh, redoing the house soon. I usually wait until um, the current heir passes away. But since Edison had Sarah so young, um, by the time she's an adult, he'll be an elder. And then, yeah, we won't have that much time of her life yet, or left. So yeah, I think changing it sooner rather than later is, is a good is a good move. Maybe um I'll change it to like once the next heir becomes a young adult. That's when we'll <laughs> when we'll redo the lot. <laughs> Alright. Only two more times using the squat toilet and that, that we can check that off the list. Uh-oh. Who? Oh my god. That guy that we met in Salvadorada passed away. I wonder how. That's crazy. I don't think he was a young adult. What happened to you? I wish it said type like how they died on their little profile thing. We should give her a cute nectar making outfit. <laughs> All right, girl, keep going. Keep on crafting. Look, I just got a thrifty notification again. I thought that was over and done with. Okay, Sarah's got work. Yep, she's gonna go to work today. Study modern love on a computer. All right, I can do that. Isn't that a David Bowie song? Am I crazy? Am I making that up? All right, girl, time to go to work. Let's get that promotion today, shall we? She's so happy all the time now too. I really do love that for her. She deserves happiness. Whoa, what was that? Enchant co-workers. Oh my goodness. Aw, Luis is having a baby. Congratulations. I love your money pieces, by the way. Looking real good. So, Ren and Sarah are going to be at work all day, so we have some time to spend with Edison. Maybe we should ask our girl on a date. What do you think? Maybe we can go to the new lounge that I built so you guys can see it if you didn't watch the video. Wait, did I? I don't think I placed it in this save file. Oh, I actually built it in this save file. Perfect. <laughs> There's actually um, like this cute little like love wall across the street, I guess. It says it in the lounge description. Um, Eggplant blues. A client has brought up an unusual problem for today's session. Their partner won't take off their eggplant costume. She says he doesn't even try to do laundry and hasn't done any in weeks. See, she isn't sure how to handle the fact that her attraction to him is fading fast. Ooh, leave him behind or dress up with him? Dress up with him. Sarah's advice pushes the client to leave her partner and move out. Soon she finds that he has moved out, moved on to someone more like him, an excellent match. Performance loss small. Erm, um, okay. Guess we're not doing very well. So what did we think about the House of the Dragon finale? <laughs> I agree with everyone on social media about how <sighs> it was just really disappointing and it didn't feel like a, it didn't feel like a season finale. I mean, it definitely had its moments. Don't get me wrong. It had its moments that were really, really good. But you know how you can kind of tell when an episode is a season finale and when it's not? That just didn't feel like one. 
I don't know. Who's this? What is your name? You're really pretty. Uh, Jalisa? Friendly introduction. Hello. And since we have the observant trait... Oh, vegetarian, evil, and self-absorbed. Okay, JK. I'm just kidding. I just wanted to say hi. Anyway, um... <laughs> Oh, they're gonna watch the sky. Oh, did I interrupt? I'm sorry. I didn't mean for it to be a uh, a uh, a gold event, but hey, it is what it is. What do you mean first kiss? I thought they already had their first kiss. Am I crazy? Mm. Oh no. I am feeling fine in our relationship. Just fine, huh? Ouch. Well, anyway, here is the <laughs> here is the renovated lounge. Uh, we got some seating up here, and then down here we've got um, a stage for music. We got a really nice bar. Um, this is my favorite item from the new pack: the little twinkling lights you can put on the wall and the ceiling. <laughs> it's so cute. But yes, here it is. It was um actually quite difficult, but I had fun. I had fun building it. What are you doing, girly pop? Are you are you giving yourself a pep talk? <laughs> Aww. There's a new thing under romance called check out. Oh my gosh. Be asked. Be asked what? You guys, no. No woohooing yet. Please, just, 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 just keep your, 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 whatchamacallits under control. Uh-oh, what? Uh-oh, she asked him again and he got pissed about it. Where is that, like, thing that you can, where's the wall? Ooh, food and drink. It says there's, like, something around that you can go to with your date. Write love declarations. Oh, look, there's a bear here. The ring bear, what the, oh my God. The ring bear, <laughs> like ring bear. P what is this? Ask about, oh, okay. Oh, okay. So this is like a bear that you can ask questions. Oh my God, that is literally the saddest thing I've ever seen. What? I gotta take a picture of this. Anyways, yes, go write your love declarations. Wholesome, aww. Edison and Eloise seem to care for each other both as lovers and friends. Romantic partners with a wholesome romantic romance dynamic choose to perform romantic, friendly, or funny interactions with each other more often and hold a meaningful place in each other's hearts. Stop it, that's so cute. Aww. What the hell's happening here? Oh my goodness. Oh, what is he doing? Well, aren't you cute? View together? Edison wrote on the wall of love, expressing just how much he loves a special you-know-who. You don't know who? Well, secrets are secrets. Too bad you can't read Simlish. Rude! Ask about bear costume. Hey guy, what's up with that? What do you mean a bear costume? I'm a bear. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'll never ask again. Oh my god, should we kiss in front of the, the wall? I hate that that bear is there crying, but like... I think this would be a really cute place to have our first kiss. Hey! Come back! Yes! Let's go, Sarah! Love mediator. We got a bonus and that's it. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Eloise, come back. I think this would be such a cute place to kiss. Gosh darn it. Whatever, guys. Be that way. I wonder what we can order from this little... Oh, it's closed now. Perfect. Oh, it's open now. Perfect. Spicy hot chocolate. Pombrazo fish tacos and vegan pombrazo. Bum pombazo. Okay. Spicy hot chocolate. That sounds so good. Toss a coin to your witcher. Oh, valley and plenty. Okay, I want you guys to kiss in front. Oh, the bear's gone. Let's go. Let's go. Uh oh, did she leave? 
but oh, she did leave. Whoa! Kiyoshi? Oh, that's a different Kiyoshi. I was like, who gave him a makeover? <laughs> oh my goodness. Aw, they are always watching the sky together. So cute. They seem to have a really nice relationship. And then all of these, are you all teens? No, nope, none of you are. You guys are watching the skies together. Wow, look at, you put a bench anywhere and you best believe Sim's gonna be watching the sky. Oh no, this is the entertainer. He's not doing very well. <laughs> Ren got promoted to secret agent. Nice, good job. I kind of want to, dang it, it's closed. All right, well, alrighty, let's go home. There was something that I wanted to do with uh, Ren because she maxed handiness and I realized that I have never been to the secret world in Oasis Springs. You have to have max handiness for it and I can't for the life of me remember ever doing it. So we should give that a shot, see if there's any um, good collectibles in there. And if you guys did not know, yes, there is a secret world in Oasis Springs. It is called Forgotten Grotto. All right, Yen, let's go. Let's do this thing. Let's check it out. So I think what you do is you travel to the Desert Bloom Park and then one of the entrances is there. I guess while we're here, we can dig all these spots as well while I try and find the entrance to this place. Oh, here it is. Break open. Okay, she's just busy uh, digging, digging all the spots first. We have a bunch of fans following us around. Everywhere we go, they follow. That is insane. Okay, here we go. Explore. Yeah, I've definitely never done this before. How exciting is that? Wide path, climb ladder, step onto ledge. Travel to the grotto. Okay, I'm so stoked. Okay, here we are. Forgotten grotto. So right off the bat, there's a place to look for frogs. Um, it looks like a mine. It kind of reminds me of uh 6am a little bit. It's not very big. There's just places to fish. Is that it? Someone tell me the point of this. Is that why no one ever talks about it? It looks like we got a new frog for our collection though. That's, that's good. What do you even do in here, guys? There's a toilet. Apparently, this is the only place you can find the batfish. Batfish, what the heck is that? I think we should find out. What's going on here? <gasps> Elizabeth married Chris Ham. Chris Ham, that was the guy that was supposed to marry Noelle. And then Crystal and Jade Pepper having a baby. Congratulations to you both. What plant is this? Onion plant, lily flower. Okay, so there are a couple plants in here as well. This is a sage bush. Oh, here are the dig spot. Okay, just took a couple minutes. Captain Fishbone's bonefish. Huh, what the heck are the bone fishes? Is it just a skeleton? Excellent rare. He swims in circles, can't remember a thing, and is already dead. Your best friend. <gasps> we need to put that in an aquarium. Are you kidding me? That is so cool. Fish with bait. Oh my god. What? You can fish with crystals? Why though? That is so strange to me. The sparkle of gemstones can be used to attract the attention of certain fish. I had no idea you could do that. How interesting. Exotic goldfish. <gasps> That's cool. She's not feeling good because she's fishing and she's a child of the ocean. I feel real bad now. All right, Ren, let's go home. Let's go put those cool fish that we caught in a, in a fish tank. I don't know how she feels about fish and fish tank though. I don't know if that would make her sad. I know that the mounted fish do. Okay, let's see. Let's put the aquarium right here where the dog bowl is. Since we don't need the dog bowl anymore. Mm, unless we do get another pet, which we probably should, huh? Well, we have the horse. I guess that counts. Okay, fish tanks are under recreation. I do want to try out the costume trunk soon. Oh, wow. That's something that I've noticed. CC creators don't really make aquariums. I don't have any CC aquariums. Or do I? I don't. That is insane. Okay, well, I do like this one from Spa Day. This dark brown mountain with the thermostat there. Put that there. 
It's kind of big, but uh, hmm. maybe we could put that there and this here instead. Looks a little less cramped. So we just drag the fish in there, right? <gasps> oh my god! Those are the coolest fish ever. Are you kidding me right now? Exotic goldfish? Oh, how pretty. Aww. Dude, those are seriously the coolest fish ever. I'm a fan. All right, Sarah, have a good day at work. Work hard. You know the drill. It's Friday. That means Sarah has the next two days off and I'm wondering if we should do a horse riding competition or if we should go to Tom Rang. Hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot. They're supposed to be sending Ren some stuff in the mail. I wonder, I wonder if it's it's came yet. Good morning, Ren. Let's get the mail and see what came. All right, what do we got? Authentication. Mm. Okay, yeah. So let's, let's, uh, let's have her uncover this thingy that they sent us. I guess we could do both. We could spend one day in Tomarang and one day doing a horse riding competition. I think it would be kind of fun though to like stay the night there. Hmm, what to do, what to do. Hmm. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, so this Dorothy Hotel and Bar, original by uh, Nika Macalino, and this one's by Leviosa 2. I'm gonna place this. Um, hmm. I think you can. I think you can switch it to a rental through this this uh, this screen. Let me see if I can do it. Vacation rental. There we go. That's what I needed. Dang. Building a hotel. <gasps> That'd be really fun, actually. I kind of want to do that. I really wish there was like a hotel venue type in the game though, where it would function like a hotel. Holy crap, this thing is huge. <laughs> 6,000 per day. Oof. Okay. I'm really sorry about the vacuuming guys. All right, let me Google how to enter in horse competitions. There are five horse competitions, including the ultimate horse competition. Each competition focuses on and judges two of your horse's skills, whereas the ultimate competition will judge all four, as well as your Sims horse riding skill. Oh, okay. So horse riding skill doesn't matter unless we're doing the ultimate competition. Competitions are available to enter from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. each day. Simply click on a community board to see the options you can choose from. Let's see. Horses have four skills that affect how they interact with sims and how well they perform in competitions. Um, these skills can be learned by practicing with your horse and participating in community jobs. Oh, okay. So there's temperament, agility, jumping, and endurance. Horses with high temperament skill will buck less often when being ridden. They will get along more easily with sims. They perform better at certain community jobs. Okay. We haven't been working on agility at all or jumping, but I think we might have a good, good endurance. Let me see. Okay, so yeah, temperament is pretty dang good and so is endurance. Everything else sucks though. How the hell does this horse have handiness skill? Huh? Very interesting. Well, anyway, she gets back at 5 p.m. So we could go when she gets off or we could wait until tomorrow. Super sell all these plants. Holy crap, $40,000 from those orchids. <laughs> Absolutely insane. We are almost to $7 million again, which is pretty dang good. We've got 5 million, I think, in our safe right now. We could put some more in the save. Oh, temperament level six, let's go. A client and their partner need assistance in choosing how to spend their evening during today's session. One is itching to go out in the town while the other would rather spend a warm night curled up inside under blankets. Wow, so I have to choose? I have to choose for them? That's so dumb. Stay home. The client and their partner spend a transformational evening indoors, feeling more connected to one another and having meaningful conversations from the convenience of their own home. Let's go. Oh, did you uncover that artifact, by the way? You did not. Oh, authenticate. I mean, also, hello. Why are you not back yet? Okay, she's back. All right. Uh, she looks like she might be in a really bad mood, though. Oh, she just needs some fun. Okay, well, maybe entering a horse competition will be fun. We gotta wear this, of course. <laughs> 
So let's travel to Chestnut Ridge. I don't know if we need to bring our horse with us, but I'm going to do it just in case. And then tomorrow we can go to, uh, tomorrow we can go to Tomarang. Okay, I'm bringing Dolly. I love horses so, so much. Um, I were, was able to interact with them a lot in Colorado when I hadn't ever before, not up close at least. They're, they're so beautiful and majestic, but they're also so intimidating. It's hard to explain. All right, here we are. Dang it, why'd you change? Okay, where's the little community board to enter the competitions? Can you just click this? Enter competition. Ah, okay. Welcome to the Hey Now Equestrian Center. Show off your skills by competing against the best. To get started, select the type of competition followed by the difficulty. You must place first, second, or third to qualify for higher difficulty divisions. Makes sense. A horse can only compete once a day, but a rider may compete multiple times a day on different horses. Okay. Both horse and rider must be present. All right. Well, what is Western Pleasure? What is this one? Show off your horse's best calm and collected gait. Got gait in this test of disposition and trust. Calm those beginner's nerves and aim for a smooth ride. Okay. Yeah, recommended three, we have six. And this is recommended three temperament, we have six. 100 bucks. Let's do it. Man, I really wish we could see the competition being done. I wish so bad. Sarah has entered a Western pleasure competition. Okay. There isn't really anything we can do except for wait and see how it goes. She's feeling confident, so that might help. Can I can I see inside? I want I want to see. Let me in. Let me in. Lame. So lame. It's not helping her fun whatsoever. Oh, <gasps> look at that. Gold medal. A relaxed horse is a winning horse. Your gentle touch and finesse bested the competition in beginner division. No one can deny the excellent teamwork between you and your horse. Now time to pony up for the next level. You can now participate in Western Pleasure Intermediate. Sweet. I mean, that was like stupidly easy. Well, we gotta wait. Yeah, recommended 10. We definitely need to max it to do the ultimate horse championship. And that's fine. 2,000 bucks. Okay. Cool. <laughs> it's not as exciting as I thought it was gonna be, but that's okay. All right, let's go home. Let's go home and then let's go spend a night in Tomarang and work on that aspiration a bit. Who knows, maybe we'll meet someone in Tomarang that we, uh, that we click with. <sighs> I wish I was a millionaire so I could just go and stay in five star hotels in different cities and just explore the culture and stuff and just come home the next day. <laughs> that would be so nice. Sarah is gonna be very well, tra well traveled, you know? She's gonna know a lot. I'm so jealous of her, I'm not even gonna lie. All right, good job, Dolly. Very good job, oops. Dude, I'm so sorry. It's so noisy today. We ain't bringing anyone. Oh my God, they had a male baby. Teddy had, oh my God, we have a brother. We have a little brother. We have a little brother. This is not a drill. I need to see what they named it. I'll check the family tree once we get there. One day, actually let's do two because I'm scared we'll have to, whatever, it doesn't matter. Sounds like there's a freaking thunderstorm, but I promise it's not, there's not. It's uh, 80 degrees outside right now. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. The horse competitions. They're very underwhelming. Okay, well, we're staying at this hotel uh, by ourselves, which is really crazy. Um, but we'll, we'll just pretend that it's a, it's a slow night and we don't see anyone else. Okay, this is the room that she picked with the black bed. Just uh, claim that, let's get something to eat. Actually, maybe we should like go out somewhere in Tomarang to eat. There's no restaurants here, but I know that I can get food at the, uh, well, there would, like the night, should we go to the night market or the lounge? 9.30, I'm not sure if anything will be 
open for the night market. Let's go to the lounge. We need to leave an offering at, the, at a spirit box. So we gotta go around and look for one. Okay, I thought there might've been one in front of this lounge, but I guess not. Oh, sorry, a spirit house, what it's called. We have to use the squat toilet a couple times. Is there one here? There is. Let's go. I know we just peed, but let's do it again. In fact, matter of fact, let's do it two times. <laughs> let's just get that over with. Okay, now let's get some food. Ooh, tofu pad thai. Don't mind if I do, dude. That sounds so good. Okay, Rotheo is here. This is our great aunt, I think. Girl, what are you doing? I said get some food, not crappily play the guitar. Oh, honey, I think you need some medicine. Whoa, who's this? Hold on a second. Can't, I can't see what your name is. Oh my God, this blur is driving me crazy. I don't know how to take it off. Jeanette Robles. Hmm, let's introduce ourselves. I think this is one of your guys' Sims. Yes, it is, it is, it is. Friendly introduction. Eat your pad thai. Oh yeah, look at the limes on there. I want it. Hi, how are you? Instantly unattracted. Holy crap. Wow, that's crazy. I didn't even know that could happen. Oh, hey, look, Marnie's here too. Aw, Sarah likes romance enthusiasts. Okay, yeah. Whoa, who are you? Hold on, pause. Sorry, this blur is kind of giving me a headache. I hope it's not giving you a headache too. Uh, Tris, hello. You're very beautiful. Wow, she's so popular. Look at everyone crowding around her to talk to her. No, did that girl leave? Aw, oh, that's really unfortunate. Let's see if we can find a spirit house somewhere. There might be one in front of these houses. Oh, here's one. <gasps> okay. Break in. Oh my goodness, no. Just, just visit this really quick. <laughs> Good grief, dude. Wait, Eggleston? Huh. Mold and spooky. I'm just trying to go to this little house here. I'm gonna be thinking about tofu pad thai all day now. Watch, just watch. What's your guys' go-to like order at a Thai restaurant? I always get Tom Ka. I can't help it. It's just too good. Okay, let's see. Leave fruit, yes. We can leave fruit and we can leave incense. Oh, it already checked that off the list. Oh my God, how cute. We can also leave incense. We can do both. That's so cool. All right, what's next on the list? Cook Tamarani cuisine, buy a shirt from the night market, buy food at the night market, prepare a recipe using a pressure cooker. Okay, um, it's 2.30 a.m. So I don't think anything at the night market's gonna be open right now, but that's okay. We're just, uh, we're exploring, you know? Walking around a new place at 2.30 a.m. just sounds really fun. <laughs> so chills here with her husband. Build skill, comedy, and Ren. I can't tell her to build skill. Oh well. All right. What a pretty garden. Ooh, we can look for frogs. There's a little dig spot here, even though we have all the crystals. Hey, we got a new one. What are the chances? What are the odds? All right, is the night market happening? Not a single soul. Six Open 6 p.m. closes 2 a.m. Wow, we barely missed it. All right, let's go back to our lodgings for now. We'll come back tomorrow. I wonder if there's a massage chair or a massage bed at this lot. We could totally hire a masseuse and get a massage and really, 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 you know, take advantage of, uh, of staying in this really nice hotel. Yeah, nope, I ain't seeing one, but we could totally buy one. All right. Table secured. Let's see if we can hire a masseuse at this hour. <laughs> we can. Oh, look. He's putting her little feet in the, in the, so good, that's adorable. Hello, how are you? Just let me know what kind of massage you want. All right, yeah. I want, what's the most expensive one? <laughs> Fertility massage? Okay, second most expensive. Sports massage, stone massage. Okay, let's do stone. She literally put her boots in the foot soaking tub. I can't. <laughs> Hello. Why is the massage therapist flirty? Hmm? Interesting. I forgot to tell you guys, I got a massage for the first time ever. 
my cousin called me and he was like, I got two tickets for uh, a free massage if you want them. Me and like my girlfriend can't go anymore. And I was like, oh, hell yeah. And he was like, the only catch is you have to drive an hour and it's today. <laughs> it was just like super last minute. And I was like, dude, I don't care. I'm so down. Um, this was like, when was this? A couple weeks ago. Was it a couple weeks ago? A week ago? Maybe like a week and a half ago. But my body was so sore and so tense from moving and all that. <laughs> so I hit up Steph. Uh, she's my best friend. And I was like, dude, let's go. Let's do this. Cause we had been talking about getting massages for like ever and this opportunity just like presented itself and i was like oh my god this is perfect so we went it was in this crazy salt cave it was a swedish full body massage dude it was amazing i understand the hype of massages now i really do once you get past the whole like awkwardness of some stranger rubbing your body in a lot of places. <laughs> Once you get past that, it, and just, you know, um, embrace it for what it is, it's pretty amazing. Yeah, you just gotta like let go, you know? Um, but yeah, there we go, we got our massage. Thank you so much, that was great. We don't even get a moodlet from that though? Oh, we did, we did. Hot and happy, the warmth of the stones, smooth from thousands of years of erosion. Massages and pedicures? <gasps> Ask for a pedicure, oh my God. <gasps> I've never done this before. I've never done this before. I think we should do red. Holy crap. I want you to not wear this outfit. Oh my God, my, I'm so sorry. My uh, reshade is like going crazy right now. This is so funny. I should do this more often. That is a huge nail polish container. Why is her fun not going up from this? Yay, thank you. Time for me to go. What? I didn't even get my manicure yet. Oh well. That was cute. That was fun. I loved it. <laughs> thank you. Let me see. Are your toes red or what? They're not. They're not even red. I feel cheated. Oh, she's having herself Oh, she's hungry. All right, all right, all right, all right. Are you having a beer though? Girl, you're supposed to be sober. Oopsies. Oh, well, it's okay. I guess she can indulge here and there. Dang, I should have placed a restaurant. We got five hours until the night market opens. There's really nowhere to get food until then? Guess not. All right, well, let's go back to the, the lounge then, get some food and then we can, that sh should kill enough time. And then we can go to the night market after. Also, in case you guys were wondering why she never hangs out with her friends anymore, I just kind of felt like it was natural with her story because, um, I don't know, maybe she would, if she hung out with them, she would fall into bad habits. Maybe they were bad influences on her. I'm not really sure, but I think she's just like trying to start fresh now. And you know, when, <laughs> you hang out with people and uh you guys like party all the time and you like fall into these habits and then one of them like if you decide to be sober they stop hitting you up perhaps that's what's happening with sarah this bartender is really cute let's um let's say hi and then let's get some food rice coconut milk and padan leaf that sounds good let's grab that she's feeling confident from her pedicure and the massage too What's up, Sarah? Can, uh, one of my friends heard about how great you are. has been asking, can I give them your number? Sure, I guess. Dang it, I introduced myself to the bartender and now she doesn't want to work. I'm hungry. Oh, we got our food. Okay, great. Wait, is that, is that our pad thai from yesterday? It totally is. She's just finishing that. Wow, okay. Whoa, nice bunny hat, my guy. I like that. Should we invite over... What was his name again? Dylan? Invite to join vacation. She has bad compatibility with the bartender. Dang. All right. Well, uh, it's four. Let's head over to the night market area now. Oh man. It's raining. That's caca duty, dude. I feel like Sarah has lost a lot of weight as well. 
She looks so tiny now. Browse fish market. Hell yeah, that's something new we could do. Romance festivals in town. I wonder if they've made any changes to that. Hmm. We should buy one of these to see if any of them we don't have in our collection yet. Fishy protein treat? Livestock animals will love this. <gasps> All right, yep, yeah, we did get something for our collections. Very good. Oh, the bartender's here. She's waiting patiently too for the night market to start. All right, so let's see. What do we got? She's gonna go play in the rain. Stop it, you're so cute. Ooh. So we need to buy food at the night market. So I vote that we get garlic noodles. And then what's this? Purchase goods, buy local attire. Hmm. Buy striped shirt. We can buy it for our dad. What else we got? Look at her with her garlic noodles. Okay. Ooh, a marble. Yes. Jar of marbles. Ooh, tassel. Yes. Mysterious basket. Pink tassel. A rainbow marble. Okay. Thank you very much. Buy and wear layered halter. What is that? She looks so pretty. Aww. How cute is that? What do we got over here? More food? Wow. They have a much larger selection. Cooked Tamarani cuisine. Okay. We need to eat it and learn it, right? Which she is in the process of doing. We got drinks and food over here. Ooh, Thai iced tea. Don't mind if I do. Thank you. All right. Well, honestly, I think that's it for the night market. Uh, I bought all the tassels that I possibly could. I ate all the food that I possibly could. I really want to get a cute screenshot of her, though. Under these tassels. Oh. <laughs> the random guitar playing gets me every time. Well, I really was hoping that we would meet someone. Oh my god. Nice star hair. <gasps> Here's that girl. Here's that girl! Don't leave! Oh, she's a vampire. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Well, that's not gonna stop me. Hello, I saw you at the lounge last night. I wanted to say hi to you, but, uh, you left. I'm glad I ran into you again. Wait, oh, I was gonna say, Triss is a, is, she works at the same job as us? But no. Child of the Islands. Whoa, is that Lil Nas X? What's wrong, boy? You look sad. <laughs> oh, hey, I like your your hair bows. She likes electronica music. What's your name? I can't see anything. Hola. A freelance artist. Oh, she's so cool. I love her. An artist that's a vampire. Oh, God, what are you doing with that guitar? Please put it away. No! I wanted her to like come here and explore and uh, I don't know, maybe do something crazy. Ask risque question. She's only ever kissed, wait, no. Has she kissed two people? She kissed Emery. I think she kissed her boyfriend. Yeah, she did. She's only woohooed with one person in her life. Girl, if you don't put that guitar away, you're gonna scare her. You're gonna scare her off. They have a little bit of romance now. <laughs> oh no, not the mistletoe kiss. Oh my god, I'm not telling him to do any of this by the way. I only started it with a little flirt. All right, 
Let's invite her back. Let's invite her back to our hotel. Oh no, Dylan's there. Oops, I didn't know if it worked or not. I did invite him to the vacation, but he didn't show up at the lot. So I thought maybe it didn't work. Dope. I hope um, all the romantic interactions that we're doing with her is increasing our romance skill. We need that for work. Invite to stay the night. Why not? She's so pretty. I don't know if this is one of your guys' sims or not. <laughs> A sleepover sounds great. I know, it's quite the nice hotel, isn't it? Let's have... Let's see... Plumberry Nectar? What the heck is that? That sounds good. Come on, I'll Thank make us that. a drink. Let's go. Shoot, she's really sleepy. I'm gonna cheat her energy. She's so beautiful. Ask about vampire history. So you know that she's a vampire already? Why is the ranch Your hand closet. here? What the? Please tell me you did not follow us here. That is so very strange. Yep, and Dylan is here as well. Send home. Sorry. Gosh, it's so dark out here. Not him joining. <laughs> I asked her for a massage this time. Oh my god. Thank you so much. Dub o massages. She's living her best life right now. I'm gonna. I kind of want to woohoo with her, to be honest. I think that could be fun. Oh my god. A vampire. Can you believe it? <laughs> Yell at? What? Ooh, nice. We leveled up. Sarah and Tris have a strong romantic relationship. All right. <gasps> I think she just proposed or like asked us to, asked us to woohoo and we said no. Oh no. Well, maybe we need to be the one to, uh, we need to be the one to ask her instead. I turned down my risky woohoo, by the way. Um, so not every single woohoo should end up in a child. <laughs> there is a small chance, though. So every time I woohoo, uh, I am accepting the fact that we might have a child, but it's low. It's, it's lower than it was, for sure. But I can't deprive my sims from woohooing every now and then, you know? It's just real life. It's very realistic. And I want her to experiment with uh, with women because all she's had is experience with men and that hasn't been uh, working out for her very well. So yeah, and what better place to do it than in a new place on vacation? <laughs> See, let me open her profile here. So she's self-assured child of the islands. She likes fitness and electronic music. She's a freelance artist. She did graduate from high school. Um, yeah, and she is a vampire. Man, I really want to see her family tree, like so badly. She lives in Tomerang as well. That's so perfect. So, so perfect. All right, it looks like she's off to eat some beef. Beef? What is that, steak? I don't even know. Looks fancy though. Who the heck prepared that? The ranch hand probably. I love that she's walking around in her towel. What is this? Oh, asado. Oh, Dylan made it. Oh, sorry, Dylan. Yeah, I bet you stink. You haven't showered since you've been here. <laughs> what a nice vacation this has been though. Seriously, what more could you want? Noah. Nelle and I are dating now. I'm head over heels for her. Congratulations. We're actually really close with Noah, aren't we? We are like really close. When does our vacation end? Everything else we need to do for our aspiration, uh, we can do at home. So we've pretty much done everything that we needed to. And we do have work tomorrow. Yeah, we should probably go home. That was so fun. Such a fun weekend. Oh my gosh, it's so snowy here. Holy crap. <laughs> Okay, so we need to prepare a recipe using a pressure cooker two times. We can totes do that real quick just to get this uh, this aspiration done in this episode. Oh, it's new skill day today too. <gasps> that is what's up, Melanie. I have a crush on Kellen McQueen. Go for it, dude. I'm gonna get him to max his comedy skill today then and we should totally work on our horse riding skill. All right, one and done. Let's cook another one. Dang, that looks so delicious. Holy crap. 
Come on, put it down. Oh yeah, shoot, I totally forgot to look at the family tree. Oh my God, what am I doing with my life? All right, let's see. They named him Lester. I don't like that name at all, but welcome. Welcome to family, Lester. I wonder if they live together. Hayden Lundy. All right. Tony's new baby is a, is a teen now. And Marnie has two babies, Felipe and An Anton. Anton? Hmm, what a family. What a family. Hey dad, I made food. Uh, I learned this recipe when I was in Tomerang. You should try it. Okay, I will. Thanks, honey. All right, just one more meal. I wonder if coconut rice counts as Tomerani cuisine. It's so typical though, like going on a vacation to a different place and eating all this food and then coming home and like craving the food so you just cook it. <laughs> All right, we completed that branch of the aspiration. Next up is collect unique tassels, explore the cave, explore the sanctuary, and visit the statue of Kunmei and the tiger. All right, it looks like we're gonna need to go back to Tomarang very soon to do all this stuff. We can visit um, visit our, our new love, Triss. Let me know if this is your sim in the comments. I that would be really cool if it was. I don't think it is though, because I moved all the sims into Willow Creek, but it's, it's possible. It's very possible that she could have moved. Well guys, I think I'm gonna wrap up this episode right here. I hope that you enjoyed the quality time we were able to spend with Sarah in Tomerang. I thought that was really, really fun. We, uh, we made some progress on the aspiration. I'm pretty sure this is the last branch. It is, so we'll be able to, to complete that really, really soon and then pick a new aspiration for her. Think of an aspiration that you guys would like to see uh, Sarah do. Um, what else? We've got Winterfest in the next episode, which will be fun. New Year's Eve coming up pretty soon. Their birthday is not for, for quite some time. So uh, yeah, we've got we've got a lot of time to complete her career. She's level three right now, so we'll keep we'll keep chucking along on that chucking along chugging along <laughs> i love you guys so so much thank you for watching this episode i hope you enjoyed as always leave me comments let me know what you think and i'll see you in the next one